good. Okay, very good. Good morning! And welcome to another uh, additional hard factor. It is Wednesday, April 17th. Is that what we got going on? Wednesday, you April 17th. You better believe it. That's right. Uh, Mark and I will be entertaining you on this lovely Wednesday. Episode and number 1442. Is it? Because it says 1441. No, I just changed else. it right now. Just changed it right now. Beautiful. Okay, good. 1442. Yeah, so that's a lot of episodes, um, but we're here. We're doing it. <laughs> 1442. So many episodes that we can do it with two guys. That's right. That's right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to two-man it. We don't have a little clip to play, but uh, we, we're going to rock your world today. Um, what are we going to be talking about? Well, I have um, uh, uh, What the Fuck China. For sure. And then I have uh, a bad news for an Elvis impersonator. Oh. Yeah. And that's that's got to be like almost every day. This is even more than usual. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got married in Vegas, and every time I tell anyone that, they're like, oh, by Elvis? No. <laughs> oh, well, what am I, a fucking idiot? Not by Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I, a douchebag? Everyone immediately thinks <laughs> when you say you get married in Vegas that... You went to one of those places, yeah. I mean, if you're I, nothing wrong if with you're, that at all. If you're, listen, if you're over fifty, had, if you're over fifty money? or sixty, yeah. maybe. But yeah. like, Elvis Second means not, Elvis means nothing to you if you're our age. I mean, oh, let's be honest. Too. You know, yeah. like, come on, give me a break, yeah. Elvis. Um, cool. I'm gonna be talking about Vikings and some of the first plastic surgery, beauty, a little bit, freaks, and um, I love and OJ. About freaks. Yeah. Oh, nice. And an OJ update. So. beautiful he's still dead he's still dead that's the good news he's still dead <laughs> um yeah dude I, i've been watching the uh i thought it was a new thing but i just never watched it the 30 and 30 for 30 that's on netflix about oj it's like a it's a literally like a five episode series i'm on episode three <laughs> dude he is he's so he's like if you don't think he's guilty you're an idiot <laughs> <laughs> you are just a moron everyone thinks he's guilty it was just yeah a, i know yeah stuff he was a piece yeah. of shit man he really was great player though fantastic player great football player fantastic yeah. football player all right you got anything going on in your personal life you just want to dive into the show i mean i got yeah terrible things going on in my personal life but no one wants to hear about we'll it we'll save that to the hive hour Tune yeah that's, hive that's where you, that's where you find out about all the shit that's going wrong in the hive oh hour. god that's <laughs> might be it might be the hive two hour this week yeah. <laughs> all right fuck it um let's do the show so first up I have a crazy medical. Oh, wait, this is no, you know, this is the wrong day. So that's not good. Hang on. Mm. Give me a second mm. here. We're all discombobulated. It's around here okay. somewhere. Uh, hang on. I found it. Okay. I got it. First up, suspicions are confirmed. A report from U.S. Congressional Committee, a House committee on Tuesday, claims that China is subsidizing, a.k.a. supporting the U.S. fentanyl crisis. Yeah, no, no, duh. Groundbreaking stuff from the House committee. Yeah, no doy. Yeah. <laughs> is anyone shocked by that? <laughs> no, no. This is what the, I mean, the, we've everyone's known this forever. They can't beat us physically, so they're throwing fentanyl in our in our mouths. They're playing dirty. They're poisoning yeah. us uh, and we're and we're smoking it and snorting it up and um so yeah i guess what the the proof that they found though what, what they released besides all suspicions being confirmed is uh they're providing subsidies in the form of value-added tax rebates to companies in china that manufacture fentanyl and other synthetic narcotics so long as they only sell them as exports outside of china if they're <laughs> i thought biden took care of all this with his last trip to, to china when he when they when they agreed not to like sell oh. the the raw ingredients to the cartels anymore and all that bullshit. I thought no I thought, he, taking, I thought no everyone fixed it. Thought he fixed no it. one's taking care of this. Uh, China's taking care of it um, by by shipping us, you know, millions and, and the drug cartels in Mexico and elsewhere millions and millions of pounds of fentanyl, um, yeah. and they're never going to stop. In fact, they give tax rebates. Wow, incentivizing the the, the killing of Americans. That's yeah. awesome. What the fuck, China? The People's Republic of China, the PRC, has also classified fentanyl 
and these other synthetic narcotics that they're shipping out as controlled substances in China and made them illegal in China. So they know exactly what they're doing. They know how bad they are. They're just helping fund their drug dealers to kill people outside of China, specifically in the U.S., it seems. Yeah, it's it's a uh, by a lot. It's it's warfare. I mean, we've, we've said it before. It's they're 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 at war with us and uh, they're killing us with this one specific weapon. And it's fentanyl. What the fuck, China? What can we send them that they're obsessed with? We're obsessed with drugs. What are they obsessed with? We could send them like or? a bunch of la laced, laced like geese vaginas, like dried up laced geese vaginas. That would kill right. billions of them. Because they eat for like yeah. a, for like a uh, ED like stuff. Tiger penis, yeah. laced tiger penis. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> found a, found a billion <laughs> tiger penises. Go at it. They're yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're subsidizing two fentanyl precursors used by drug cartels, NPP and ANPP. I don't know what that means, but they're doing that, and they're offering their companies that make that precursor of fentanyl a thirteen percent tax rebate. Yeah, this is specifically, I'm pretty sure what Biden and and Xi uh, came to a, an agreement on was the raw materials thing um, that that. But now that's just apparently the committee said that as of April, which is this month, April 2024, the rebate's still on um, yeah. and they're still doing this. So maybe uh, maybe it was a misunderstanding. Maybe she was like, uh, it's like that uh, get to carbon neutral by 2030. Maybe it's like one of those mm -hmm. future things like we're going to stop doing it. Right. Right. Yeah. Who knows? Um, how could they not produce shitloads of fentanyl to ship overseas, though? These companies, they'd be losing money with those rates. Can't afford not to. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. So that's, uh, that's great. China responded via email when Washington uh, embassy spokesperson. So the China embassy, the Chinese Chinese embassy in Washington um, said Lu, Leo Pengu wrote. It is very clear that there is no fentanyl problem in China and the fentanyl crisis in the United States is not caused by the Chinese side and blindly blaming Chinese cannot solve the U.S. own problem. <laughs> own problem. <laughs> <laughs> he then forgot to remove the U.S. people from the email and forwarded the same message to the PRC Central Committee and State Council with several laughy face emojis added in a, in a picture of a graveyard. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> We got them. <laughs> they dropping like fly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, they dropping like fly. <laughs> yeah. so, what the fuck, China? Stop sending us fentanyl and incentivizing your companies to send us fentanyl. Stop it. It's ridiculous. Knock yeah, it off. I mean, well, we we have to be doing more over here too to stop this shit. But uh, but it doesn't help. Like I was talking to my buddy, um who's also like in recovery. And I was, you know, telling him about some stuff. And I was like, I was like, man, I'm, I was like, I was being honest with him. I was like, man, I'm, I'm gambling too much. You know, I'm trying to like cut back. It's like, it's become a problem, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but, but I get these fucking emails sometimes. And it's like, you have a free bet or you have, we have uh, awarded like blah, blah, blah to your, to your account. I'm like, it's like dropping like a, it's like dropping a fucking six pack at an alcoholic, alcoholic store step, you know? Well, yeah, and it's like, man. it's like, these fucking fentanyl. They want you to gamble. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's like dropping fentanyl in an opioid addict's face. Yeah, in a, in a crisis. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So, anyways, um, China's denying it, but it seems like the House Committee has evidence. Who knows? And if you think that story's messed up, meet retired con man. I mean, chiropractor Ronald Rayher. So he's the guy. He's the sixty-nine-year-old nice guy on the left. Mm -hmm. Ronald Rayher. The guy mm -hmm. on the right in that photo is now deceased former Elvis impersonator, 40 year old Thomas Kreider. I can see so. the Elvis impersonator um, going on. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. The hair, the build. Yeah. It almost. But he's a good one. He, I mean, he, he, yeah. He's, he's he a was. good Elvis. Looks like a good Elvis impersonator. Probably was. Um, yeah. So Elvis left the building in a coffin after Rayher chloroformed him more than once during sex. Gave him the old. You want oh, another pop? Wow. He, he was banging that guy? He was banging the hell out of him. He's banging that old guy? Yeah. I mean, I know the old guy was banging No, the old Elvis. guy was banging him. He was realigning his back in a different way, the, oh. the chiropractor, and, and kept chloroforming him, too. 
Jeez. Hey, bu- hey, buddy, I can't breathe. Go uh, easy on the chloroform there, pal. The hey, King, buddy, King, that, that, King's got weak lungs. Is that chloroform, buddy? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you're covering my mouth with that chloroform, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Uh, this all went down on April 5th where uh, Rayer is accused of restraining and binding Kreider, you know, and then administering a dangerous amount of chloroform to him more than once. And I'm not sure what a danger, uh, well, a non-dangerous dose of chloroform is. And apparently neither is Rayer. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted the, uh, fuck a lifeless body ver like, or, or semi lifeless body version. And he, and he got the full lifeless body version. He wanted Elvis. later year Elvis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, pretend like you're flying in, into into a mountain. I'm getting uh, woozy, man. <laughs> Get woozy, man. <laughs> this is not cool. Uh, I guess he got his milligrams mixed up. It's two swigs into the rag, not three. He went for the third and then ragged them. Uh, well, Rayher then spent the next four days all shook up uh, with Kreider's body way down in the basement before finally turning himself into the Saratoga County, Saratoga County Sheriff's Office in upstate New York. So, White old men are losing their minds. I mean, the, like, I don't know if you saw that, the old white guy who killed that Uber Eats or U- Uber driver in his driveway who had nothing to do with some scam. He just shot her in his driveway. Old white men are losing their minds. Did he order food or did she just pull into the wrong? It was like, no, it was like he was getting scammed. And then she was Uber assigned to go to his house to pick up some kind of box. And she was unknowingly part of the scam. So the scammers hired her to go do part of their you know bidding. Oh, he got sent and she, her to a murder. Yeah, they sent her. They sent her to her death. Oh. And when he, when she got there, he was like, "Wow, what, show me your fucking phone." Blah blah blah. And she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna call the police. What are you talking about?" And then he fucking shot her right in his driveway. Oof. Yeah. I didn't see that one, but I did see like a Uber Eats prank gone wrong, not gone wrong, gone right, where um over a thousand dollars worth of pizzas was sent to some schlub's house. Mm. <laughs> that's a lot of pizzas. <laughs> Even today, that's a lot of pizzas. Yeah. Yeah. You're an idiot if you make that many pizzas at once. <laughs> yeah, why would it go to one house? <laughs> <laughs> Big they, order, guys. They pull into like a, a one-car garage, three-bedroom house, and they have 400 pieces yeah. of pizzas. God damn it, we just got an order for a thousand fucking pizzas. <laughs> Guess no one's getting cut early. And Jeremy <laughs> called in. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're scrambling to get Jeremy in. <laughs> yeah. We got a thousand pizzas, bud. <laughs> Just the two ovens. Short yeah. staffed and everything. I don't even know. I don't even know how long that would take, but a while. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, so the guy's in the basement for four days. This chiropractor feels guilty at some point. He finally turns himself in. Mr. Rayher was arrested and charged with second degree manslaughter and evidence tampering because he moved Crowder's uh body from you know, like the, the fuck yeah, den murder. to the basement, you know. Yeah, I mean, why not murder? What's that? Why not murder? Why well, is, they why? said it was consensual and the yeah, evidence no, the chloroform wasn't. No, they said that was consensual too. Oh, uh, really? It's going to be jailhouse rock for Ray or the next oh. 10 to 20 years. It sounds like, yeah, no, they were into it. the hound dogs apparently knew each other uh, for years. And the sex and the chloroforming, according to police so far, appears to be consensual as Kreider surrendered to him. It was burning love. What a wild couple. Just like, yeah. you know, a couple of weeks ago out there in the world, there's just this old man, this Elvis impersonator fucking and chloroform each other and just. <laughs> yeah. Wild. No one knows. Oh, you're eating a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild world out there. It's a wild world out there. We're normies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're Gotta boring. Out there and chloroform somewhere. Yeah, uh, suspicious minds will say it was not consensual, though, and it's certainly going to be a blue Christmas for the Kreider family this year. And I can tell Wes is not a huge Elvis fan because that might be the 13th song I've referenced. A little more. No, I, 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 I got it. I got them all. Oh, you got all of them? Yeah, yeah. You got uh, all, all shook up. I got, uh, yeah, I've gotten hound dog maybe was there's one no of way you I... got way down no i didn't get way down yeah and there's another one i slipped in there yeah yeah i, uh, I know you're i know you're slipping some in i'm slipping some in i think i have a few more <laughs> hang on let me see looks like uh we got we got eric on the eric's joining us um gonna, he's see. probably gonna say something about jailhouse rock because he's in jail <laughs> i already said it <laughs> oh you did okay <laughs> i already said it um i got a few more hang on Here. a little more conversation might have helped out in the situation. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 
Saratoga County's County Police uh, Under Sheriff Jeffrey Brown, who was the guy that um, Ray Her, the chiropractor, turned himself into, said in a press conference, "Blue suede shoes, Viva Las Vegas, return to surrender, return to surrender." <laughs> so, <there you> go. <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, yeah. Anyways, today's show, RIP to that guy. We're having a little fun. I had to because they said in all the articles they, they hammered the Elvis impersonator thing. It's like really. And huh. I guess I guess you can mention what he did. Maybe that was his like passion. I mean, life. the old guy was probably very into fucking Elvis. Yeah, exactly. They yeah. probably played Elvis tracks while yeah. they were doing it. Yeah, he had an Elvis kink. He was yeah. like, he's an old guy. He probably was obsessed. You know, homosexual man, obviously. Probably was obsessed with Elvis. Desperately wanted to fuck fuck Elvis back in the day. And this is the closest thing he was going to get. It was the greatest. It was the yeah. greatest thing that could have possibly happened to him. He convinced yeah. a forty-year-old guy, twenty-nine yeah. years younger than him, pretty good-looking guy that looked like yeah. Elvis to fuck him. Yeah. I mean, he was in heaven. He was. He was. He, was, he ruined it. He was. Uh, what's the Elvis heaven song? He was. Uh, Burning love. Heaven. Um, some heaven. He was some heaven. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't help but falling in love with the Elvis person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. That's a Dolly right, Parton. That's, that's a Dolly Parton song. Yeah. Today's show is brought to you by the delicious and ingenious Cook Unity. Okay. Cook Unity is the first chef to you service delivering locally sourced meals from award winning chefs right to your door every week, and it's cheaper than other delivery options. It truly is. Uh, I love Cook Unity. They haven't missed on a meal yet that I've gotten. My favorites are probably so far the cheesy bolognese, ravioli, and the chicken tiki masala. But they, I mean, they have everything, man. They got literally everything that you can think of, any every style of food. Uh, and, and these meals are cooked by incredible local chefs that make a living making delicious food. These aren't line cooks. Not that there's anything wrong with those heroes. But my point is these are professional chefs' own recipes prepared by them. Right, they are uh, extremely delicious. You could you could easily go do a pen and teller thing where they went and like served like um me like pretend meals at like a five star restaurant. And people are like mm. you could fool anyone if you put this on a plate at a five star restaurant. Right, and that's the whole point. It's like it's the restaurant quality, the restaurant uh, experience, but you get to cheaper and at your own home, right? Like mm -hmm. so, like yeah. you want that delicious restaurant. Uh, food you can get it through this service and, and look they make things incredibly easy and delicious for you no cooking required uh, for chef quality dining experience right at home unlike other meal services cook unity is a chef collective bringing exciting culinary talent straight to your table cook unity works with some of the best chefs in the country to bring creative delicious meals to you every week your food arrives fresh never frozen in, pa in packaging that keeps meals fresh in the fridge for up to seven days cook energy packaging is completely Postable, recyclable, or reusable. You can you can go from as few as four, as many as sixteen meals a week. Hundreds of dishes to choose from. Options for seven different dietary preferences: vegan, paleo, pescatarian, gluten free, and more. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So you got allergies that they'll work with you on that. Menus are posted two weeks in advance. So you have plenty of time to choose. Experience chef quality meals every week delivered right to your door. Go to cookunity.com slash hard factor or enter code hard factor before checkout for 50% off your first week. That's 50% off your first week by using code hard factor going to cookunity.com slash hard factor. There you go. Uh, real quick, do you want to address um, the comment um, by Ru Russ here? Why the fuck are you not on YouTube? Sure. Uh, um, I actually don't know the answer to that. I, I think it's because we're trying a little something, something a little different. Um. <laughs> why did you? Why did you address it, Eric? Because I, I knew you would. Because <laughs> I kind of want to know the answer too. <laughs> oh, shit. Russ, maybe you can explain it to Russ and I. <laughs> And me. Explain it to Russ and me. Uh, Eric, we were trying this because uh, the, the video tabs in particular on YouTube has a, a higher landing rate, right? So, like, something along the lines with that. The yeah, live, so... live tab is great. It's good for live comments. But um, if you want to get, like, more views, you go to the, you do it this way. Yeah, so, I mean, if we're being yeah, honest right. here, uh, you guys you guys were joining the live stream on YouTube. So, it was, it was messing up with our live numbers. Mm. Right. Okay. There weren't enough people joining the live stream yeah so, so it was dragging to... on the youtube channel you know yeah, yeah, yeah. So, trying yeah. to get the youtube mm -hmm. numbers up that's basically it's the viewers fault. that's what it is there, there you go, go. Okay. blame the viewers no, but yeah we're, we're just trying something new um we're just trying to get the the youtube numbers up and i mean it, it just seems like one of the easiest ways to do it at this point is just to like upload the show as a video instead of doing it as a live because the lives aren't getting much views right the like, reach 
the way yeah. that YouTube works is the video tab is the landing page instead of live. Live's a pain in the ass to get to. You have to know you're supposed to go there, yeah. blah, 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 blah. There's another way we could do it too. We probably should just move on, but there's another way we could yeah. do it too where we did the live show and then afterwards cut it again and reload it to the videos. But long story short, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It's all your fault. Um, all right. Let's talk about beauty for a minute, shall we? Uh, we all know modern plastic surgery has gotten out of control. Giant tits, oh, yeah. comical looking lips. Women and men are undergoing an insane amount of plastic surgery. Uh, we've had on this show many women who some say have taken plastic surgery to the extreme, whether it's insanely huge tits. Tammy, we love you. Or Ollie London, who you might remember underwent plastic surgery to become another race, Korean. Um, and whether all this plastic surgery is to be more happy in their own skin or to appeal to the opposite sex or the judgmental public is not for me to say. I don't care. Um, I imagine it's a lot of both, but to each their own, right? And along with this evolution of plastic surgery has come with it the involvement of what we find beautiful, right? I mean, Mark, you didn't even know you loved fake tits until you saw your first pair. <laughs> and then you were like, whoa, now that's beauty, right? How would I know it if I had never seen it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And then your right. whole that the beauty was just sh all shook up i didn't know i loved three sized over asses until my first bbl that's right exactly and maybe people 1000 years from now will think that we were insane to think fake tits were amazing probably because if the math is right everyone will be gay but um even the you know the heterosexual men will look back at pictures of pam anderson and say what were those what were those morons thinking this woman is hideous look at those big monstrosities on her chest right who knows and Hopefully like today, and I, I mean, I would think not, but like today I stumbled upon this Daily Mail article about Vikings and what they found beautiful. And I said, man, those savage motherfuckers were into some weird shit. And they were so into it that they were practicing some of the world's first plastic surgery on women in order to get them to look a certain way uh, that they just couldn't resist. And the Vikings were planners. OK, so they performed this plastic surgery right when the women were born knowing that one day they would turn 11 and become wives and bear children and they wanted them to look as hot as possible when they did turn 11 you know what i'm saying i don't i can't i don't know what surgery i don't i can't picture okay. it all right well i'm going to show you and 11 so is really young too so this is a tough one for me to conceptualize yeah yeah i know it is i know it is um so what they would do with well, the German researchers in Sweden discovered some skulls that suggest in the first year of birth, some Vikings would wrap the heads of baby girls when the skulls were still nice and soft. And this wrapping would turn the skulls into this an elongated alien like mm -hmm. head that Viking men apparently couldn't resist. OK, I love long domes. <clears throat> yeah, because think about it, Mark. If you're going to smash your wife's head into a stone wall after a long night of Vikinging with the boys, wouldn't you want a nice long head to grab onto versus a normal sized head for slamming? Well, you want something to work with. You want to get a few <laughs> smashes in. You don't want yeah, the first smash you could hold to hold on to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was I mean, thinking more along the lines of if you're like throat I fucking know. or you want a longer runway. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I mean, we're we're both. Yeah. We're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. So here's an artist's rendition of a beautiful Viking woman seemingly unconscious or dead in a grave after her husband beat her to death. But as you can see, she's got that elongated maybe skull up there. Um, Look like gins. Like what, what's that creature that has like a kind of like a genie, but like a, like a gin uh, DJI like, DJ and type thing. Alien? Like an alien lady. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like so, from the movie Alien. Yeah, from like like alien. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the skulls of the three women demonstrating this trait were found in the Black Sea region of Sweden. And according to the article, cranial malformation was common in the Black Sea region and had previously only been identified in Mesoamerican, Native American and Eurasian cultures, making this the first time it was found in the Viking people. Um so it's literally, like you said, it's literally like boob jobs for us, the like yeah. the current time US, or like um some of the African tribes that do like the longer earlobes or not. Yeah, not exactly next. Or ear, yep. There, there you go. go. Didn't there even go. know you had those, but exactly. It's yep. the same, mm -hmm. same deal. I women do it too. Some Whoa. some tribes in Thailand. That's a neck. Oh, was, yeah. that, was that Merton Hanks? 
Yeah, dude. They they go they go long. Um, so the article says that the Vikings may also have taken this artificial cranial deformation or ACD to an extreme, employing weights and straps to help the process of deforming the baby's heads. And this could lead to an even more perfect woman in the eyes of the Vikings, impairing their cognitive development and also giving them that, those luscious long heads. So Keep slow and, and long. Yes, yeah. yeah, slow and long, just how they like them, you know. Um, yeah. The longer, the stupider. They are. <laughs> yeah. That drooling. Yeah. 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 Dude, I met this girl at a bar last night. She was the slowest girl I've ever met. So long, too. She walks in circles. <laughs> she can get through her vows. I'm going to marry her. You, know? so, you got to uh, see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, some researchers believe these long domes were a symbol of beauty and status. Other researchers believe it was more likely that prank head lengthening. Yeah, <laughs> it was just cruel. Yeah. Other researchers think it was just cruel uh, yeah. that it was used to uh, separate the women from others by showing they had traveled. So uh, they wrote mm -hmm. the human body both is, is and represents a medium of communication. It has an ability to produce communication in a functionally complex, structured way. Like tramp stamps in today's world mean you're more down the fuck than others. Long heads may have melt that may have meant that you traveled long distances, um, and you know also it could be a symbol of status and beauty. It was far more likely that they were regarded as evidence of far-reaching trading contacts, and thus as tokens of influence and success in trading. So, yeah, you know the Vikings. I'm not trying to nitpick here because you know this is a long time ago, but the Vikings don't get enough credit for how just ridiculously gross and violent they were. They they like oh, romanticized, so true. And, and they're so <laughs> romanticized, and like they're still like the the Minnesota Vikings and all this stuff. And every Viking show is like, yeah, go Vikings. But they literally yeah. would just take heavy drugs and go on a forty eight hour rapid raping pillaging rampage yeah. where they would kill every man, woman, and child and wear their fucking faces afterwards. And they would wake up and be like, what a weekend! What happened? Like yeah, drugs were off. <laughs> yeah. I go home to my 11 year old elongated head wife. What a crazy weekend. Yeah. So I guess, you know, you'd be out and then and you'd, you'd see a girl and, and she'd claim she went to the silk, silk road or something. And he'd be like, Oh, you say you just got back from the silk road. Prove it. Let's see that. Let's see that head of yours. And then, and then she'd turn around and be like, Oh, it looks like you've never left Oslo. You know? Yeah. yeah they would and, just you, take, and you speak too well. They would hold up the skull of a woman from a, 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 a tribe they conquered to compare it you're yeah, barely I mean, longer than this lady's head yeah so again to each their own different strokes for different folks um again i was going to show like the tribes big ears long necks uh some men go gaga for a long necked big eared woman in africa while here in america uh we find that they're out of their minds right so <laughs> i don't know beauty's in the eye of the holder i got no problem with the long neck Oh, there you, you don't think these people are crazy, Mark? That's a little too much. <laughs> That's a long what, back people. <laughs> what about the even... Chinese foot binding dudes? Oh yeah, yeah. What's you that? know what those are called? <laughs> the it, it's called the golden lotus, is when you get the foot that is the tiniest. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the, the golden lotus. It's like what that what what it's like the, the, the most prime sought after tiny foot. That's a yeah. that's a dog whistle for pedophilia. Yeah, big I mean, that's that's a red flag. <laughs> Yeah. One minute your feet. It's crazy. Um, all right. Moving on. OJ update. Uh, good news for the families of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown. As Mark said, OJ is still dead. And the executor of OJ's estate is now saying he will pay the $33.5 million that OJ owed them from when he killed their loved ones. Um, so last week, attorney Malcolm Leverg, Laverne, uh, seen here next to the smiling killer said last week that the Goldman's um, get nothing and promised that he would do quote everything in my capacity as the executor or personal representative to try and ensure they get nothing. So that's nice. Yeah. He even went as far as to say that uh, OJ's estate is going to stay within OJ's family, which I understand him saying that, but then he said, no one's going to get anything, especially the Goldman's. He singled them out yeah. again. He was like, <laughs> Dude, they already, they already killed the guy. Like, you, you yeah. don't have to rub salt in the wound. Yeah, yeah. Um, really sad on this documentary I'm watching when when the Goldmans went into Ron's uh, house after OJ brutally murdered him. 
they found uh, all these plans for like the restaurant he was about to open, like like the menu and like the layout and like all uh, this. Like he had big f- plans. In the footer, he kept writing, "As long as I'm not murdered." Yeah, yeah. As long <laughs> as I stay alive, this yeah. is gonna be great. God um, willing. Yeah, God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Yeah. Ugh. So he made the comments last week while giving an interview for the Las Vegas Re- Review Journal saying that the comments were not directed at the families, but at the lawyers of Fred Goldman saying, quote, within an hour of knowing that OJ died, he started talking shit. Uh, my advocate instinct was, oh, you're going to keep shitting on him even after he's dead. Fine. You know, you get nothing. So clearly just level headed and even tempered, just like OJ was. Um, and. He went on and he said, and so those were my remarks then, but I backtracked and they were pretty harsh remarks. And now I'm going the other direction. He added, I wish OJ could have gone the other direction with the knife after he slit Nicole's throat, but knives don't work like comments do. You know what I mean? Like you can't take back a knife slashing. You can take back a comment, but not a knife slashing. So sticks and stones, they break my bones, but yeah. Knives, knives, knives slashings will definitely kill knives me. don't work like comments do yeah. uh so he's uh he's taking it back <laughs> and has said yeah. Yeah. i can tell you in advance fred goldman's claim will be accepted and his claim will be handled in accordance with nevada law he said to the hollywood reporter so good news probably it's going to take forever to get for them to get the money because i'm sure there's just a boatload of bullshit um in OJ's file that has to be cleared and red tape and all this other kind of shit. But maybe one day they'll get their 33.5 million, maybe before they die. Who knows? Maybe their grandkids will get it if they have any. I don't know. Hmm. But, uh, you know, I doubt it. Yeah. I don't, I, I feel like he just shouldn't have made the comments a couple of weeks ago about especially the Goldman's won't get it. He probably just should have said nothing and then uh, wouldn't have had to have the update. He should have said, the- This has been a long time coming. Where do you want the check delivered? Well, I mean, he's still representing the surviving family for OJ, so like he doesn't want to give all the money away, but he probably he shouldn't have singled out the Goldmans and been like, and those cocksuckers. Listen, he was ordered to pay that money <laughs> in the civil suit. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But a lot of people don't pay what they're ordered to pay. That's kind of how it yeah, works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Last time addressing this because Russ is spamming the chat. I don't even know how he's in here. Oh, he's on X. So <laughs> yeah. Russ is upset that the uh, YouTube again. So look, the YouTube will be full episodes on the video channel you can watch it there i think it's a little bit later so it's not live and if any way you consume this whether it's twitter facebook youtube the best way to help us use your preferred method but also download the show on apple and spotify that's the best way to support us so Mm -hmm. no matter how you're consuming this if you're watching this on tiktok facebook twitter whatever youtube also take 60 seconds and play it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify or whatever. So anyways. Yep. And Russ also points out that he can he's going to take um, his gripes to the Discord and come directly at us, which you can too, by going to patreon.com slash hard factor. If you have any gripes that you want us to read. And- we take all gripes in the yeah. Discord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Patreon.com slash hard factor. That's right. So, um, That's all I got. I don't know. Man. Well, there is a live, there is a breaking news that we, I think we have to address. This is big news okay. for the show. Also, we called it, um, and it's you know sad, but Jenna Jameson and her, um, her, I don't know, her dyke wife, I don't know what her name is. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. whatever, Jesse something. I only call it that because she hates us clearly, and she's yeah. mean. Jenna Jameson's yeah. lovely person. And we want her on the show, and she's been held back by this lady. They divorced officially as of one Jesse year. Which James, is, I, think, I think, is her name. Yeah, I think that we called it yeah. one year, and we nailed it. So they're divorced. We're only sorry for Jenna, not for the other way. Yeah. The question is, how happy are you, Wes? <laughs> Listen, um, I'm very – you know how, I, how I've felt secretly about uh, Jenna Jameson's now ex – um, and how annoying I think she is. And oh, she basically uh, addresses you direct to camera in those posts. Yeah, like, she does. You wake she up does. and you wish you were with her. I wake up and she sits on my face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Just go check out her uh, her inspirational um, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. Yeah. If you if you can't get out of bed, 
then you're a loser uh videos you know like that like or something you know yeah. she's got terrible terrible videos out there. and tyler nails it in the live comments from twitter sounds like she's ready to get back on that horse and we'd love to have a conversation with her about that thoughts yeah. for jenna not for the other lady jenna we love you when are you going to come on the show and stop dodging us for fuck's sake yeah <laughs> all right and that was all i just wanted to mention that because it just broke uh, um yeah all right well let's get the hell out of here then we love you guys uh thank you for joining i have a great fucking day we'll talk to you tomorrow